Oh well, hello there. Guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Alex here. Ever since I started doing videos about Malta, I've been getting your feedback, seeing how many of you guys are actually in love with the island, especially with its own tradition and architecture. And in today's video, you're going to have the absolute honor, I would say, to go inside a beautiful Maltese house. Follow me. Come on in guys, I am so happy, especially with the fact that so many of you were telling me Alex, the architecture, it's evident that it's beautiful in Malta, but how do the houses look like behind those beautiful Maltese doors? We are in a palazzo and in this palazzo, the area where we are, it is a ground floor mazonette, which has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a kitchen, and I'm coming to the best part, which is the view. However, come on in. I want you guys to see what's going on. First of all, please pay attention to the tiles. Look at the tiles, how they were done back in the days. The entire apartment where I'm showing you, it's with different type of flooring, and you will see that. This room, at the moment, it's not being used for anything because it's a question mark whether it's going to be a room as a bedroom or it is going to be a room as an office room. And the good thing about this room is that it has its own and suite. So there is a shower inside and there is a sink as well. And there is a mirror. Hey guys! <laughs> so that was the first bedroom that I showed you or that can be as a office room as well but I wanted you to see how the doors look like. They are folding doors. And when you completely close them down, there is no any sound. It's completely soundproof. Hold on a minute. Okay, let's leave this like that. Okay, let's continue. The next place that I'm gonna take, no, sorry, it's not the next place, where we are right now. This is like the entry area. So here we have a different type of flooring, as you can see on the video. But this is another kind of like a guest bathroom as well, which looks amazing. I really like the way they have restored this villa. Look at the flooring in this bathroom as well. Beautiful. Moving on out of the bathroom, we are moving on to the very interesting part of this apartment, which is the kitchen. I love the kitchen. The color scheme, it's beautiful. Look at these styles, guys, how they look like, especially this over here, so Maltese. Now, you might be wondering why do people back in the days used to do the tile floors in this type of design? Rumor has it, back in the days, of course, nobody is using parquet in Malta or wood as a floor. Everyone was using tiles and they don't use carpets. So instead of a carpet and a parquet, what they did? A designer colorful flooring. So this is the whole concept behind it. Now, the kitchen, it's amazing. I really like the little touch with the gold knobs beautiful this color it's amazing as you can see even from the shirt that i'm wearing today i'm i'm like blending in <laughs> even the wall wow now i'm noticing this the wall is also light blue as well perfect the kitchen has been restored but as you can see it is restored in that kind of like traditional old bar kind of style i would say of a kitchen, which looks amazing. I even like the countertop as well. Beige is one of my favorite colors when it comes to designing and also when it comes to kitchen. Do we care for some tea? <laughs> the window area. From the kitchen, going towards the living room, where I'm coming to. This is the living area slash like a dining area and being restored at the moment, you can have a look around. That wall is the Maltese stone. This is how they used to build the houses back in the days. And it's so heavy. Like, I can, <laughs> I can even feel the sturdiness of the entire building. 
you feel like you are really on the floor. It doesn't shake, you don't hear any noises. And also, you might have noticed of how high the ceilings are. Look at that. So it sounds a little bit echoey even when I'm talking, but this is because there is a huge space all around. Now, as you can see, the living area, it's not designed already. There is missing, of course, the TV units, and this is just like a improvisational, let's say, kind of sofa that is over here, just to give the vibe that this is a living room. The dining table is over there. But it is kind of like fully ready for people to move in. And yes, talking about this, this apartment, it is on sale. I'm gonna link down in the description of this video where you can find it or you can contact me, I can guide you through. However, let's continue. I want you to see one of the most beautiful things that really like, if I had the money, I'm buying it. The balcony and the view. A million dollar view towards Kahokara, the beautiful entry. Every cruise liner that comes in Malta enters from there and it goes straight down towards Valletta, our capital city in Malta. Look at that. Now, the other thing that I didn't tell you is when you enter from the kitchen, you are going inside a little balcony which is kind of the view towards the shaft, which you can see all the Maltese stone. And now, last but not least, I am taking you into the room where all the magic happens, the main bedroom. Come on in. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look how beautiful it is. And it's so quiet, it's very silent as well. The color scheme that I'm seeing here, it's so mesmerizing and it really makes you feel like you are about to fall asleep and just be completely... No, hold on, listen. There is nothing. It's so quiet and peaceful. Perfect. This is how they used to have the beds as well back in the days. And this is what we have at the moment. Wait, is it shaky? Does it make like a squirky sound? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> The stone, wow, now I'm noticing this. Beautiful. The bedside tables with a marble and wood. Perfect, it's so, there's so many antiques what I'm noticing, there's so many, so many antiques here. Beautiful, even these, wow. Wait, how do you open this? What is it? <laughs> and now the other thing, the huge mirror at the back. I am 1 meter and 83 centimeters and look, this is over 2 meters. Anyway, moving on, the last and final part that we have over here, it is the end suite bathroom. Oh, so pink. <laughs> look, it's, it's a bit echoey as well. Where is this? I don't know how you call this in English. a beautiful way with a walk-in shower nice sturdy glass as well no it's it's amazing the way that this all has been created restored it's absolutely amazing i love it if i had the money this would have been mine stay here for three years sell it and make profit <laughs> I wanted to make the outro of the video here, guys, on the balcony because I wanted you one more time to see the absolutely amazing view. Calcara and the capital city, Valletta. I would also like to say thank you to Lino and Gianluca from Vintage Conversions Limited, which they allow me to enter inside their one of their latest projects here. Absolutely amazing. I've seen their work and I'm seeing this now for the very first time and I am thrilled and impressed. Everything looks amazing. As I said earlier in the video, if anyone is interested to buy this property, everything will be linked down in the description of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it down below and don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well. And until I see you in my next one, bye!